Well, first tonight, a quite shocking haul of deadly blades handed in to the police in Nottinghamshire. Now, these so-called zombie-style knives and machetes are now illegal to keep at home. One retailer handed in dozens of weapons before the law came into force last week. Well, police believe that others were given up anonymously, some maybe by young people who were actually carrying them. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, reports. Yeah, if you look at this, this is a, a zombie knife. It's even got fake blood on it. Um, and you can imagine the impact that would have on a victim. Carl Thomas tackles knife crime in Nottinghamshire. Yeah, this yeah. is why. This is another one that's been handed in as well. You can see it's got several um, serrated edges on it again. And if you feel the sharpness of that blade, I mean, that could really cause serious that's injury. That's very, very sharp, isn't it? Yeah, or fatality. Almost 450 zombie-style weapons have been handed into the force in only a month. Lethal modern accessories that look like medieval weapons of war. Unfortunately, young people carry these um, during the day. Um, they'll conceal them either in under clothing, um, in the trousers, or inside a jacket. And um, that's why it's so important that we get them off the streets. This is why they're so worried. Teenagers fighting with serrated machetes in the centre of Nottingham earlier this year. And this is where Muhammad Durab Khan was murdered with a zombie knife nearby only days earlier. Lots of youth workers have contacted us and they've said that young people have come to them and they want to hand these weapons in. So that would suggest to me that they want to change their lifestyles uh, and they realise that that peer pressure, they're trying to move away from that so they can, they can actually live a normal life. And you look at these, I mean, this one here at the front looks fearsome, but that was only made illegal last week, whereas this one here was already illegal. I mean, what is the difference between them? The only difference is, is the writing. So normally they'd say zombie hunter knife or zombie knife or there'll be some form of writing. Um, there's no writing on it, but you can imagine the impact that would have. That wasn't illegal in the, under the legislation. These red bins are where most people have handed in knives anonymously at police station receptions. But at Radford Road, one man came in and handed over more than 80 zombie style weapons. Yeah, that was a retailer. And they're clearly, um, you know, in terms of the compensation scheme, they've decided that they don't want these to be out on the street and they've done the ethical thing. If you are caught with one of these weapons, you are liable to get a custodial sentence up to four years. But now these zombie-style weapons are off the streets of Nottinghamshire and they're on their way to the skip to be melted down. Best place for them, I think Jeremy's here in the studio. Um, so we're saying tougher rules now on these zombie knives, but how has the law actually changed? Well, put simply, Anne, you can now go to jail for having any type of zombie-style knife or machete. And we're talking here about owning one or carrying one or selling one. And these are blades of at least eight inches that are serrated or have sharp holes or spikes, which makes them much more dangerous, of course. And there are some exemptions for things like forestry work, for instance, but of course this doesn't include things like bog-standard kitchen knives, which can still be pretty lethal. I suppose they can, really. I mean, we always hear about, you know, the really serious effects of knife crime, but just how common is it? Well, across the wider East Midlands region, the police recorded well over 3,000 serious knife offences in the last year. Now, we can show you how that pans out on an average day. Uh, four to five people injured by knives, so slashed or stabbed on an average day. Two to three people robbed at knife point, and that includes muggings as well. When you put it in days like that, that seems absolutely horrendous, to be honest. It does, but actually there, there is some good news here for our region. Our numbers, our knife crime rates, actually lower than the national average across all of our police forces. The other thing is, while the numbers are going up nationally, uh, serious knife offences actually fell by 5% in the East Midlands last year. So you know, the numbers are heading in the right direction. When you look at those zombie knives, though, I mean, very little room for complacency. None at all. They look absolutely horrendous. Jeremy, thanks indeed for that. Thank you.